Good morning, brothers and sisters, and uh, welcome to our next part of the Chronicles of the Children of Aranak. Uh, let us open with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for thy spirit, and we ask that your spirit be with us today as we read the Chronicles of the Children of Aranak. In the book of Jaranak, we're on the third chapter. And as Matthew said in his sermon yesterday, this is a history of the people that lived on the British Isles. So let us, let your word speak through it to us. And I'll say these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. <laughs> chapter 3. A new prophet is chosen. Now the children of Aranach in part did listen to the prophet Aranach. However, there stood amongst them one who did not heed his word, and his name was Lionach, and he was the very son of the prophet Aranach. For Lionach was the firstborn of Aranach, and he had journeyed with the people since he was a small child, and he had burdened much hardness upon his shoulders, and he had seen many fall along the wayside and die among the snows and the mountains, and he wondered what sort of God would allow such things to happen, and he allowed the presence of the wilful one, evil one to enter in his heart. Now behold, with all the hate within the, his heart, he sought to take away his father's life and become leader himself. And so he went before the people and he stood before the children of Aranach and said to them, Do not fool, follow the foolish old man. For he thinks he speaks with God, but I tell you now that God does not speak with him, and if he did speak with my father, he would command us to stay here, for the land has all we need and want. Do not listen to this fool, he has lost his mind. After making his words known to the people, Aranach wept, for his son. Now Lionat, being first his firstborn, was taught all the things that his father Aranach was taught in the ways of the spirit, and he was learned in the ways of the sacred text of his of his people. But I, Lionat, rebelled against these teachings. Now Aranach grew to be very old, and his son Lionach gave him no peace or rest, and bothered Aranach, and would that Aranach should give up his right to lead. Now Aranach was weighed down with great with grief for his son, and he took it upon himself to cry unto the Lord, O Lord of heaven, how long will you permit me to live upon this earth, and how long, O Lord, must I beat my firstborn, and his raging against me, and his deceit, and his lust for my blood? Behold, I am old, and I need to know whom I should leave the keys of my people unto, so that they may be kept safe from evil and led to the land you have promised. Talk to me, O God, I pray upon the windows of heaven unto me, and speak unto thy servant before I pass into eternity. And when Aranak had finished praying unto the Lord, he, a cloud 
in the form of a pillar of fire appeared unto Aranach, and within the pillar of fire was the Lord, and the voice of the Lord sounded from the cloud, saying, O my prophet, repent of your thoughts against your son, and your feeling towards him, for he is He is fruits of your loins, and he is yours. But behold, promise you that I, the Lord, will 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 deal justly and swiftly with all those who defile my prophets and my name. Take strength, my servant. Soon you will have your rest. Now I say unto you, bestow the keys of your kingdom upon your sons, who are called Sharonak and Hajanak, for they are pure in heart, and together they rule in the name of the land of the people to the land I have given you. Upon hearing the words, Aranak found strength in his legs, again and walked amongst the people and told them to gather to his tent for he was soon to find his rest and call those who would rule in his place and so it was that the children of Aranat gathered to the tent of the prophet and waited to hear the words of Aranat for the last time now Aranat, being very old and frail, found the strength to, and stood again before the people, and the people beheld that the Spirit of the Lord fell upon them, and the people beheld that the Spirit of the Lord shone like the sun at midday, for it filled his tent, and all that were present felt the Spirit and of the Lord, and many did fall to the ground, because they were so overcome that they could not stand. Now the five children of Aranach did stand before him, in order that the oldest was first and the youngest was last. Now I, Jaranach, make no apologies for what follows, for Aranach did not write down upon his record all, all the names of his children, but I, Jaranak, have the first three names, Lionak being the oldest, Sharanak being the second, and in line, and Hajanak being the third in line. Now Aranak's children sat before Aranak and waited for their father to name his successor to the keys of the kingdom and the prophecy calling. Now Lionak, being the oldest, thought that he should be chosen, and to make sure that he was to be chosen, stood and took hold of his father's father, so much so that Aranak had to fight for breath. Upon witness this, Hajanak stood and caught hold of Lionak, and wrestled him to the floor, so that his father was set free. Now Aranak called, cried with a loud voice, as if being touched by the mighty one of heaven, and he cried out, saying, O oh, my sons, be faithful and obedient to the will of the Lord, for the Lord has chosen his next prophet, and Sharanak shall be anointed one, and Haranak shall be his voice, and hold the keys unto the people. And through Sharanak has no tongue, has spirit, as might, mightiest of all God's people. With the, this mighty spirit, Sharanak will tell Haranak, Hajanak, the will of the Lord. Now Lionak grew Andrew angry that he had been chosen 
and he threw up Hajanak, and he went before the people and stood before them and said to them, Do not listen to the ravings of an old man who has lost his mind and his strength, but listen to me and I will lead you and we will go north to the land that my scouts have told me of. Behold, it will have plenty and we will have no need to break our backs on the building of these worthless stone monuments. Behold, we can live as we like and worship as we like, and no one will be able to tell us how to live, for I lead, I will lead, and I will be free to do as they please. Listen to my brothers, listen to me, follow me. Now his word please me. Many among all the children of Aranak. And Lionak did draw away many of his sons and daughters of Aranak. Now, now upon hearing the words of his son Aranak, the prophet... This is 33. Now, upon hearing the words of his son Lionak, the prophet Aranak, fell to the floor with a, with a broken heart and died. And while his father lay dead upon the floor and his brothers wept over his body and tore their clothes and rant them, Lionel left the tent of his father and took him two thousand of the sons and daughters of Aranak. And Lionel took with him five hundred horses from the great herd of the children of Aranak, and he took them hundred goats and two hundred sheep, and many other things did Lionak steal and take away. Now I do not know, but I suppose that Lionak took his people north, and the people that he took are the forefathers of the people, who do now send their seed to destroy their brothers and sisters upon this land. Now Sharonat being called as the new prophet of the people of Aranak, wept for his father for a space of five days, and while he wept, his brother Ajanat looked after the people, after Sharonat, had wept, he did offer sacrifice on behalf of his brother Lionel and his people, so that they, so that the Lord would preserve his brother people upon the land that they would be given. Now many years passed since Lionel and his people departed, and Sharonak and Hajanak took the remaining children of Aranak west into the stage of this mysterious land and their children began to be old so that their children grew to be young men of great stature and their girls in the fair and delightsome young women. Now a problem occurred that when L Lionel drew away his people, there began to be more women than men, so that not every woman had an husband. Now this was because the priesthood was not given the worthy males, and only worthy males could marry worthy females. Now the females of the children of light went into the prophet Sharonat, and his mouthpiece, Ajanak, and complained, for they wished that all could marry and experience the joy of marriage. And Sharonak, for through the power of the Spirit, told Ajanak that the Lord would only permit marriage between righteous men. 
and righteous women. Now the females had gathered to complain, were overcome with the spirit, and they said to Sharonat, Our children and our children's children covenant with the Lord that they will remain faithful and righteous to that all children can only can one day share in the love and companionship of marriage. So that's chapter 3 and we see in there some of the verses about uh, people that rebel against God, uh, people that fall away from God. And, uh, and we, know, we know most times that people come back to God and that God invites them back if, if they believe in his son Jesus Christ. And, uh, we also see there they talk about marriage and uh, uh, that they should be married to righteous men and uh, I believe that as well so uh, yep that's the end of chapter 3 so hope to see you next week and let's finish with prayer Heavenly Father uh, we pray about the the chronicles of the children of Jaranak, which we're reading. And we've learnt today that sometimes people fall away from their religion and uh, fall away from you, like leave the rod of iron that's in the Book of Mormon and fall away to the worldly things. And, and we pray that, Lord, your, your love and that comes back into their minds. And that they they will come back and connect with you again. All those people that have strayed or gone away. And we pray for them as well that one day that they will see your spirit and get to know it. But they will see your spirit in us and learn of you again. And I say these things in that wonderful gift to us who died upon the cross. Who took upon all our sins. Who we can go to who is the only person that we can go to that will take us to you. And his name's Jesus Christ. And I say these things in his name. Amen. God bless.